Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Emacs Bullet 30 Amp ESC. So this is going to be a very interesting one uh, since it's just so tiny. It's it's unbelievably tiny. Like let me just show you in comparison. That's just this one's small too. So I don't know how this is going to stack up. So first let's just take a look at what it comes with. It comes with a clear heat shrink wrapping, which is awesome, and it comes with the Emacs stickers. Now let's put these guys on the side. So. This is rocking a BB2 chip, which means it can run DSHOT 600, possibly right out of the box, no modifications needed. I don't think there's gonna be any modifications here. Uh, what we're gonna do is actually, we're gonna compare noise, voltage drops, and voltage spikes between this guy and this guy, the Racer Star 35 Amp ESC. Since they're in the same price point, that should give us kind of a good reference. Um, and we should see how that's gonna turn out, and that's how it's going to be. So let's get started. Alright guys, so as we just saw that they are both noisy as hell, <laughs> but you're getting what you paid for, but this is totally fine. Now, what caught me by surprise is the bullet was actually outdoing the racer star by a tiny bit, and we're just talking about noise now. I don't know how they're going to hold out in current and then if uh, which one could handle the most current, but right now we're just talking about noise. The Emacs was a little bit less noisy than 35 amp, which caught me by surprise. So I started wondering why, you know, what's what's so different? I mean, this has this just seems a bigger board. It has least amount of possible noise to be carried through. But then when I turned this around, I started looking in here. I found this guy right there. It's a tantalum capacitor, which is basically like a low ESR capacitor in a sort of way, and it's actually filtering out some of the noise frequencies just a tiny bit of them which is which why it seems that this guy is a little bit better than this guy and in, to, in the truth that he is a tiny bit better in the noise perspective and the and um, frequency noise filtration this guy's a little bit better just because of that little one guy right there so that that actually caught me by surprise I didn't notice that when I first got it and yeah that that's just crazy so that's going to conclude it for this video guys later on we will put this on a build and try it out and then see how good it really is if it has desync or it might have some problems um and these guys are in the same price point category so i think it's a very pretty fair review however there's another guy that's going to be coming in the next review which is this guy and i think he's cheaper than these two right here and this is going to be a good one right here so we're going to keep that for the next review and this is going to conclude it for this video guys and i really hope it helped someone out there and i hope you guys enjoyed it and that's going to conclude it for this video guys so please don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you next time